Hello, West Coast. Hello, East Coast. We're How are doing we? This. Uh, we're good. We're good. We got whiskey in front of us. We do, so uh, it's always good. We have quiet homes. We have quiet homes. It's I the best it, day of the week. <laughs> I think it's good. I think it's good. Uh, your your better half is away? My better half is uh, in Las Vegas. Vegas, baby, Vegas. Vegas, baby, road trip for the girls. Uh, how much of a gambling budget do you give her? She doesn't gamble, so that won't be an issue. Oh. But okay. she likes cocktails. That could be an issue. That bum, could be bum. a big issue. Yeah, it could, especially with the way they're charging drinks. That, 20 oh. bucks a drink or 20 bucks at the roulette table. Pick it. No, you can't win. No, you can't. The house always wins. The house, the house always, always wins. wins. But you know what we got? We got whiskey. That's all we need, baby. That's all we, we need. We like whiskey. We like whiskey. So we did a little bit of coordination of the shopping, and it worked out pretty well. I kind of like that we're both like – we both hit the liquor store at the exact same same time, and we was, were uh, – As Sting would say, it was synchronicity. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Um, anyway, so, yeah, we, we – Peruse the shelves, and I said, "Let's go big, or at least big price-wise, and let's get some minis." So since we're, I, since we're cheap bastards, we really went big. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we dropped the whole twenty bucks. How much was yours? <laughs> I think it was twenty bucks. I think. Okay, yeah, same here. But anyway, so yeah, the the Johnny Walker Blue Label. I had it many, 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 many years ago. Me too. I'd say it's probably been at least ten years since I've had this. You know, why don't we open up the box while while we're yep. chatting? Yeah, it's kind of cute, though. They did a really nice job with the packaging, I have to say. It's great packaging. I love it the, whole, nice. the mini thing. It's pretty cool. It's a solid little box. You see the uh, back of it? Uh, there nice. is one little bit of disappointment on this, though. Which is? The ABV. Uh, 40%, I believe, right? 40%. 40%. Well, I believe It doesn't have a what, 5 in it. It doesn't have a 5 in it, but I does believe not have that a five in it. is what our normal blue label is. I think the normal price on this is anywhere from would you say it was like uh, 160 at Costco, 180 yeah, at Costco. Yeah, I think it's about right. I think it was I think it was around 180 at uh, Bevmo, which is a little expensive sometimes. So Costco's usually got it cheaper. It can be an extremely expensive bottle. But the question is, is it worth it? Well, that is the question of the evening, I'd say. So I'm going to do a little pour, and I could tell you a little story about the first time we had the blue. So way back before the whiskey explosion and, and all the prices started going through the roof, we would always get invites to these Johnny Walker events. And we would go to these. We did, went to one many, many years ago at the Union League in Philadelphia called the Journey of Taste, where we tried pretty much all of the standard issue stuff. And then they showed us all the, uh, all the component whiskeys that went into it. But then a couple years later, when the blue came out, or at least when the blue, when they were doing a big marketing push with the blue, they held an event at a place called the Pyramid Club in Philadelphia, and they rolled out all the stops for this event. It was it was a lot of fun. They had like a big boardroom kind of thing, so hmm. they would do like groups of tastings. So they have like the, the ambassador, and they maybe bring in 15, 20 people, and we'd all try it. And but on the outside, they had you know they had I think like um, all the Johnny Walker expressions, and then they had a shoe shine station. They had a place where you can get your nails done. They had, like, uh, those chair massages. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it was ridiculous. It was absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> it was so much fun. So we went to a couple of those, and they were a lot of fun. But we tried the blue. And, again, at the time, I wasn't too deep into the journey. So I thought it was great at the time. But, you know, like I said, let's, let's see how it is. Let's, let's go. Is. Let's go. All right. Let's, let's give it a try. So sure. color-wise, it looks nice. It's got a very nice golden light it's... amber. Light, I mean, it is. It really is an amber color. Yep, it's very gold and it's very. Um, it's like a honey gold. I was going to say honey gold. It's funny you say that because on the back of the little box, mm -hmm. it said, it says with notes of honeyed sweetness. So oh. honey, honey is a thing for the folks at uh, Johnny Walker, I can tell. Oh, you calling me honey? Oh, you're so funny. Uh, well, Thanks, sweetie. Honey. Sweetie's <laughs> in Las Vegas, so I'm going to call you honey. Oh, all right, that's good. That'll work. That'll work. Okay. I'm going to go in for a little nosing, but I like the color. And I'm right under my lights here, and it looks positively, as I said in a previous review, shimmery. It's shimmery. It's very light. It's uh, not totally viscous. It's mm -hmm. uh, it's very, very uh, thin, I'd say, just looking at it. And, you know, I like I do like the bottle because, the, uh, you know, the bottle has a nice blue tint to it. I haven't seen 
the other bottles in quite a while. I think they're all clear. Are they all clear? They all are similar in style? Or, or at least the black and the red are clear. So. Okay. Yeah. The only disappointment is that for 20 bucks you could have got a little tiny cork. I don't think any of the minis come with corks. No, they don't. But it would have been cool. It would have been cool. It would have been cool. But I, I will say this. They did a nice job with the bottle. They did a nice job with the labeling. And they did a nice job with the little box. Well, so, the, the, the little packaging is very well done. That's for so sure. So I, I give them four, four out of five stars on the packaging. Yeah. I'd give them five stars on the packaging. It's very yeah. nice. Well, no, no. Because that, that, that extra star is the cork, man. Well, that's, that's true. But, you know, most you see most of these uh, minis are just a bottle. It really is pretty. I have to say, it really is. It does look nice. It just has a nice color. And I don't know if it's maybe because it has all the different elements in it, of the grain and everything. But well, I'm going to... I, yeah, I, don't, I, I don't know the components, but it's funny you said grain because that's the first thing I thought of when I smelled it. It's not malty. No, no, it's it's very, it's you know, actually it smells pretty good. I like the smell. It's fruity. Yep. Maybe maybe some like uh, apples and pears. Dried fruit, definitely honey. I mean, it smells sweet to me. And but it's not particularly dark fruits. I wouldn't say it's like dark no. dried fruit. No, 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 no. Um, I, I've heard, and I don't know this for certain, that there's some hints of peat in this and smoke. I don't well, get any. I don't get any of that on the nose. So the smell is. I it's. I don't really pick up much smoke at all. Maybe it's a little, very, 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 very it's light. Very light. It's a little more heather than than smoke for sure. You know, if if there is going to be any smoke, I'm thinking Kalila because Kalila is generally the gentlest of the Atlas, or or one of the more With, gentler ones. Well, that's an interesting story, too, because Kalila Young is pretty pungent. Mm-hmm. Kalila Old isn't. So if well, they're this, using some old stuff in here. This, which, is, this is their older one, I think. It's it, because, it is, but we don't know. They don't give you numbers. They don't give you ages, so we don't know no. how old anything is. So it's definitely, if there's things like Kalila or Lagavulin in here, it's definitely mellowed out over years. Uh, I, get a little, I get a little bit of smoke, like maybe like a little yeah. bit of, little, little tobacco. Whoa, that's a lot of smoke. If you, yeah, but not if like you're not, not not smoky tobacco, but just like the actual like if you smell a cigar. Oh, right. So you're just like smelling pre-lit. it. A uh, pre-lit, yeah. A pre-lit cigar. Interesting. Can you see the legs right there? Well, that's really funny because I that's when I first leggy. thought when I first looked at it, I thought there was no legs, and actually no. yours has a little bit more than mine, I think. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, it's it's the dirty glass. <laughs> it's my specialty. I don't clean the glasses anymore. Yeah, you're right. There is a bit of a oiliness a, to it. Not this a is ton. a. This is a. You know how you have a first fill cask. <clears throat> this is yep. like a fifteenth fill glass. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's All actually right. a little more oily than I expected. All right. Did you want for a taste? Let's go for it. All right, I'm going in. Life is short. Uh, it's got a little bit of heft to it in the in the mouthfeel. So it's a. It tastes bigger than forty percent. It does actually. Um, I don't feel any richness to it necessarily uh it still feels thin like i thought it looked thin um there is definitely a sweetness i definitely get the sweetness and i would think that that's a big selling point it's not overly sweet though no but it's it's there it's immediately there the flavors are a little more rounded i mean it's nicely balanced because it's pretty peppery in the beginning there's a good bit of like you know peppery cinnamony spice at start this is this is pretty gentle it is. That's that's not bad. I wouldn't say it's a two hundred dollar bottle of whiskey. No, and see, that's the that's a whole different conversation. Um, if you didn't know what this was, mm-hmm. and you didn't see the the cute little bottle in the cute little box and the price tag at wherever we were, what would you think of this whiskey? I think that's the question. Mm. Yeah, that's the thing though. But now the thing is that we know what it is. We do, and but... we know what the box is. So we, really, that's the whole point of the blind tasting, right? This yep. is far from a blind tasting. It is. But so. I, this doesn't taste to me like a $200 whiskey. Okay, so here's the question, though. But do you like the whiskey? Price aside, no, you know, I mean, if someone poured it for you, you wouldn't mind, right? I would drink it, but it wouldn't be my first choice. If I had, if well, I had, no, no I'm, for, even if I didn't know the name, if I, I would take a sip of it, well, oh, it's okay, it's decent. It could be, is, this could be any whiskey to me. I, I mean, I wouldn't say it's any better than, I don't know, like a Compass Box. What is it? Oak Cross? Do they still make that one? I think they do, yeah. Yeah, they do They do a couple. Or 
you know, it's not a spice tree. It's not as good as the spice tree. No, I think, and well, that's an interesting concept, though, is comparing it to other blends. Well, you have to. You can't compare it to a single malt. No, you can't. So think about blends that you've had and Mm -hmm. like the the compass boxes, which are $30, $40, $50. Um, They're a little more than that, but. Not not the the Great King Street. Oh, yeah, that's the glass. I think that's more of a competitor for like their blue, like for the black label. Because they probably are in the same price point. Probably. You know, but, they're in the 40 range. Yeah. Great King Street's pretty good. I did. Rem- I remember having the New York one. Is that There wasn't there a New York edition? And then there was the know. Glasgow blend? The Glasgow one, yep. I think I had the New York. I don't think I've had the Glasgow. So I, I in terms of blends, I mean, you got Chivas and things like that. Um, I think it, there, may be ones that, there may be ones that I think it would be better. Hard to say. I don't drink a well, lot of blends. Those? What, what's Flaming Heart? What did that go for? Like 130, 140? Something like that, yeah. I would take Flaming Heart over this any day. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's a really interesting comparison, too. When you compare what John Glazer's doing at Compass Box. Who just happened to work at Diageo one day. Who happened to work at Diageo and must still have uh, connections to get the, as much Diageo product as he does in his mm-hmm. blends. Those things are just phenomenal comparatively. Yes. I would agree. So the, it's, it's price aside, name aside. I could drink this all night. Oh, right? absolutely. You know, and I'm going to finish and this I, probably. Yeah, and it would not even bat an eye. And it, it's not because it's uh, something spectacular, but it's it's an easy drink drinking whiskey. Oh, totally. Yeah. yeah, I could sit absolutely. around the fire with this drink with this dram and no problem. Not at all. No, not, not at, at all. all. And, if we're, and if we're just going by that kind of value, hey, it's great. When you throw the price tag at it, I think it changes things to me. It well, does. How's this? If this if this sold for twenty bucks for for a for a glass of this at a bar, I might go for it. But you know, it's probably going for forty five or fifty a pour. Oh, easily. I ain't paying fifty bucks a pour for this. Yeah. Actually, I wouldn't pay. I wouldn't pay more than twenty dollars a pour for anything. So, but that's just me. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I think I'm part Scottish. Um, I'll have to look and see. I bet I took a picture of the menu of the bar I I were, last night. I thought you said and, you were going to look and see if I was part Scottish. I'm like, how do you know that? <laughs> I'm not checking up your kilt, my friend. <laughs> um, I have to admit, um, mm. it's a very well balanced, solid whiskey. No, it's very good. It's very yeah. good. I, I, I like it more than I remember. Yeah, uh, I agree. No, I agree. I, it's been a while since I had it. I don't remember it too well. It, I was actually expecting, my expectations were lower uh, mm-hmm. for this. And I'm sort of surprised it, as good as it is. It's just a, it's no, an no, easy drinking dram. I think the first bite was bigger than obviously the last mm-hmm. swig. Um, the I don't get the smoke that you're getting, but I'm getting, I am getting more maltiness. With other with each uh, attempt, but it, it does feel a little a little bit grainy to me. Well, going uh, back to going back to the smoke, you're you're practically a first responder, so you probably could, <laughs> you would need to be like a raging inferno for you to pick yes. up the smoke. Yeah, at this I point, that was some, that was so much last night with the uh, Glen Scotia line. I mm-hmm. even the peated one was. Are you sure there's peat in here? It says it on the box, but I don't know. Mm-hmm. And I think, I think it says here on the box, this this little blue label box, it says a perfectly balanced smoke. Mm-hmm. So I guess it's balanced really well because I can barely get it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I, I I like it. I think it's pretty good. I mean, I wouldn't give it. I'd give it a B plus, A minus maybe in terms of for what it is. It's very good. I mean, there's, there's I, really there's nothing to complain about. My grade is a solid B, and yeah. um. Probably wouldn't purchase it. Oh uh, no, I wouldn't buy it. Either. Like I said, and, I, would go, I would go with the Flaming Heart, which varies every year to or something else. Yep. And I and I've had the we just a little bit on the wrap up on Johnny Walker. I've had the double black and the black a few times, and I find those far more interesting than this. All right, let's wrap this up. B solid B from me on the West Coast. Yeah, I mean, I'll give it a little more. I'll give it a little bit of B plus. You know, because I'm impressed because I was thinking, you know, I went in talking about the it doesn't have a five in it. 
but you know what? It works. Yeah, it works. Solid, definitely. This is this is the this is the ease yourself into the weekend dram. How I about agree. that? Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, there's some folks that save these bottles for like a special occasion. Yep. It's not all that. No. I it's agree. not all that. No. This it's is not a. All that. This is a. Oh, thank you very much. Let's open it up and drink. It was a is. well spent twenty dollars for this uh, experiment. I think. I would. I would agree. Yeah. So anyhow, all, all right, right, West Coast. Cheers. Cheers to you, sir.